Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Pulitzer Prize winner Lynn Nottage is making her Broadway debut with her latest play, Sweat, following a critically acclaimed sold-out run in the public theater. And we are here on opening night to celebrate with the company. Well, I can finally say it. Welcome to Broadway. Thank How you. does it feel? I'm, you know, this has been a really sort of electric and wonderful evening. The actors were on fire, and I just feel really sort of joyful to be finally on, on the big stage. What has this whole experience been like working on this play for you? Well, it's, it's, I, I feel like this play has really come at the very right moment, and it feels like it's very much in conversation with what's happening in the country right now, so it feels as though um, we've landed at the moment when the country sort of needed to have this conversation. What a great role. Talk about her and what is it like living in her skin and can you shed her right away when the curtain comes down? Um, yeah, yeah I can, but you know, I don't particularly want to. Yeah. I think she's a really, really interesting person that exists in our world that I think we all should get to know, for sure. I like her. I mean, I don't agree with all her decisions, but I love this woman. So the first time you read the play, what went through your mind? I knew it was really important, and it, it made me terrified to do that part, and that's why I knew I needed to do it. Well, welcome to Broadway with Sweat. It's opening night. How do you feel? Uh, I'm feeling a lot of different things. Relieved right now. I think we had a really good show tonight, so uh, I feel really good right now. This is such an emotional play, and it's an emotional journey that you go on in this show. Talk about the role that you play and what you love about playing him. Uh, I, I love that Jason uh, eats up life. You know, he lives really big, and um, he works hard, he drinks hard, uh, he loves hard, he's loyal as hell. Um, so, you know, he really does just devour life, and, and I really respect that, and wish I did it a little more in my own life, you know. Is he an easy character to shake at the end of the night? Um, I think so. Certain nights are different than others, you know, but uh, we have a great company here. So when we, when we walk off stage, we're, we're a family, you know, again, we, we, you know, so everyone else helps shake off all the stuff we got to do, the nasty stuff we got to do, I guess. What's it like living in the world of Lynn Nottage in this play? It's really a lot of fun. Um, it's a it's a it's a heavy drama, but it is a lot of fun. You know, you've seen it. You know, you know how it is. Um, but it feels really great to be part of something that is art, not just entertainment. It's important, and it has a message, and it hits people. You know where they live. It really is. Uh, the audiences are always, you know very emotional, very satisfied, very affected. Um, and so it makes me feel really proud that I get to make my debut on something that is really culturally important to this country, especially at this moment. Working with Lynn and Kate in this company, what it's all meant to you? The world. I mean, I, you know, I started, this is my third production of this play. Um, I started with it in 2015, and then I did it at the public and now here. And it's just, it, it, you know, it feels like the most important play I've ever done. Um, and, and, um, I just know how, sp I, I, I recognize how special it is. And that makes me very grateful to, to just be here. Because there's so many of us, you know, um, working for so hard for so long. And I just know that uh, I'm lucky and that it also highlights a sense of responsibility. So it's great. You're also really good at what you do. Thank you. So when you took your bow tonight on Broadway, do you remember what you were thinking? I was very emotional. Um, I, <laughs> I was... Uh, 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 what's uh, pathos? Is that the word when you're, you know, you're like kind of crying and laughing at the same time? Um, that's what I felt. I just, I, I, I was overjoyed and I was incredibly, incredibly moved. And what you love about Lynn's play? What a gorgeous play! I think I might have said this the last time. I haven't done a play in ten years, and when I read this play, I knew I had to be a part of it if they would have me. And it's an amazing piece of theater, and her writing is just so compelling. And uh, it's an amazingly moving piece of theater. And it's grown so much since we started down at the public that it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a once in a lifetime. And sharing the stage with this incredible cast. It's amazing. If we, we, this is an amazing group of human beings that we're on stage with. Uh, we love each other immensely. And it, it, I think it shows. I think that's why the play is as good and as tight as it is. 
we laugh a lot off stage. We're really close. We love each other. It's uh, it's it's again. It's uh, it's one of those experiences I've rarely ever had in the theater or anywhere. So when you took your bow tonight, yeah, opening night, yeah, sweat. Do you remember what you were thinking? Yeah, we're open. <laughs> yeah. What has the whole journey been like for you with working on this play with Lynn? It's been wonderful, and it's been it's been an, a, a major adventure. And we started before there was a script. We started in Reading doing research, and that had its own wonderful. Um, uh, sometimes frightening moments and it felt like sometimes we didn't know that there would be a narrative and, and then a narrative came to the fore and then we did readings and workshops and finally you know four different productions so we're thrilled to finally be here on Broadway. What do you love the most about this story and this play? Uh, I think, I guess for me, that there is such a deep struggle with all of the people and, and the impulse at the very end to uh, try to bridge a kind of community again and the question of how do we become a community once more. And working with your cast, I mean, a lot of your scenes are with the two boys. Yeah, What's cool. it like sharing the stage with Chris and Will? Oh my God, amazing. They're so generous, um, giving, um, present, there. All I have to do is just look across and look right into their eyes. You know, always giving me something new, fresh and different. Um, I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better couple of guys, man. They are amazing since day one, since day one. And the chemistry, you know, always changing, always doing something different. And, you know, we've, we, we, we kind of, we rehearse before we go on stage. So it's, we always check in with one another. Yup. Every time we, before we go on, we always check in, we run it because opening up the, the play is a, is a responsibility to keep the pace going and to set the tone. It is opening night. How do you feel? Man, I feel fantastic. I feel like I'm on top of the world. It don't get no bigger than opening night on Broadway for actors. Come on. We live for this moment. And this moment actually has happened. You know, so there's nothing can go wrong, you know, at this point. I just feel like, God, I wake up tomorrow, somebody got to pinch me. You know what I mean? I got through it. I'm here again. You know what I mean? And then a great, I don't want freaking play. It's a great play. What's it like living in the world of Lynn Nottage? I mean, this is such an incredible play. The words, what it stands for. I wish I could be in her brain. That's the thing about Lynn. She thinks so fast and so on the moment. And so she writes about real people. And real people, we all think a little different. You know what I mean? So the way she writes, it's like you have to really think like that person is thinking and what they're going through. She's such a smart writer. But what you write about and the people and the issues, I am so blessed and so lucky to be a part of this. What do you enjoy the most about being in this incredible play by Lynn Nottage? I really like my cast members a lot. You know, it doesn't feel like I'm coming to work. I feel like I'm, I'm coming to another home. Yeah. You know, it feels good to come to work. I come to work super early. I'm happy to see everybody, you know, and we all support and take care of each other. And that's the most important thing to me. And the most powerful thing to me, you know, it's very rare that you get an opportunity to be in a cast where collectively, there's a collective consciousness of self-care and care for others, and it's a beautiful thing. When you took your bow tonight on Broadway, do you remember what you were thinking? <laughs> what I was thinking? I was um, thinking how beautiful it was. You know, you, you think about a dream, and then you're standing there, and then it's like, Oh, right. You know, so I was giving a bow to the universe, giving a bow to my dreams because I'm here. I'm from Camden, New Jersey. And then I was telling our PT person today, if you would have told me three years ago, just three, that I would be standing on this stage tonight doing what I'm doing, I would have called you a liar. I wouldn't have believed the word you said, you know, so grateful. Gratefulness is what I felt. What has it been like and what is it like living in the world of Lynn Nottage? dense and complicated and human and you, it feels like you're cliff diving yeah. yeah and when you cliff dive it feels like you're going to drown and inevitably you pop back up with so much humanity and love what an incredible role she has written for you talk about her and what you love about this role where do you begin she's just um she's just a whole complicated woman yeah flawed and loving and ambitious and she's just so human and Lynn is so courageous and bold to give voice to broads. You know, you've got three broads of a certain age on stage. 
it's awesome. Working with this company, incredible ensemble. More than an ensemble, just family. Yeah. You can be so vulnerable and weak and scared and strong and people will protect you. You've all been in this together. I was asking Johanna, she was like, we run from room to room beforehand to check in with everybody before we hit the stage, right? And playing and there was so much laughter. It was really interesting because when we started at the public, we had been through so much in the rehearsal process. We would come downstairs laughing uproariously and people's faces were, they were stunned from the play and we realized we had to take it down a notch. But there's so much love and joy. And I think that's what you see on stage. So when you took your bow tonight on Broadway, do you remember what you were thinking? Um, I was just uh, feeling very happy for Lynn in particular and for Kate and what we created. It's just, it felt like we were exactly where we were supposed to be.